Hey, I'm over here. Yeah, I came early, man. Yep. Merry Christmas to you. Christmas morning. I'm just checking out my cache here because I got a couple things I got to get out of here. Uh, we, 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 we make caches like this. We make them out of oil drums. Uh, we, we've put a bunch in because you can get these drums for free. Bucket of tar, a little bit of work, and you got an awesome cache. This one we put in the side of the hill. It's approximately six foot long, about three foot tall. We, we, we cut a hole in it. We clean it. Let me just show you. This, this particular one we call a life pod. This thing will sustain four people, my family, for a long time. We got everything we need in it, from clothes to, to, to food to boots to shoes to underwear to socks to everything we need. If a storm comes through and wipes this whole property out, we lose everything in the house and the barns and the, the storage sheds. It doesn't matter. We can sustain ourselves with just this alone. If someone comes and steals everything, no problem. These things are becoming more important. Before the, before the, the crash, not, not many people did this. Now, there's nowhere safe. You, you don't have a place, a safety deposit box. You can't put your money in the bank. Nothing safe. So people are doing it underground. They're cacheting stuff because uh, they can always come back and dig it up and, and get their, their valuable stuff. Money has no, money's nothing nowadays. It's, it's things, things you can make things with, you can eat, uh, things, tools. This is what's important. Let me show you this one. The camera went pretty well. I already got in here and undid the locks. You just cut a hole in it, clean it out, and put a pressure treated wooden floor in it. Uh, this has everything we need to sustain. The reason I came was I was getting some bacon and some butter. We only have a few cases of this, and uh, it's Christmas today. My wife's going to make us some bacon and eggs. We haven't had bacon in, oh my goodness, I don't know, two, two and a half months. And this is some good quality butter for our toast. So we're going to eat pretty well uh, this morning. The wife's excited to, to, to add this to her thing. She tries real hard. You know, work, working with just your basics, rice and beans, it's hard to make really good meals, but my wife's working really hard to, to keep things interesting. Well, this is approximately three foot tall, six foot long. We, we got a ton of these before the crash. Um, and we still have one to put in, so I'll show you that. We will have some time, and I'm going to show you how I do it, how I build it. We'll go through everything, and we'll even put it in the ground so you guys can see. Uh, like I said, I mean, we got everything in here to sustain life. You're talking, you got medical, you got tools, you got axes, candles. We, we put everything we need. We got the ammo cans work great for storing all kinds of stuff. You can store ammo in them, but you can store boots and clothes. Um, I wish we put more in. Um, but this is what we got. Now, we do have individual caches. We use buckets and we put them in the ground. Uh, we, we, we don't get the buckets out. What you do is you dig it up. Take your shovel, smash the top in, and pull your products up. It's just too much work to dig the whole thing out. Um, so I'm looking forward to some bacon. This stuff is good quality stuff. Um, things are pretty good today. It's Christmas. You know we're planning on getting that ham radio, but we, we've had a few problems with the community. You know we have a, a retreat here, and our retreat is made up of five families, and we have a definite border. We have our own perimeter. We don't, we don't let the community guard us. We, we take care of our own security, and we help out the community security. But this is, this is our retreat is five families. Um, so the community and the retreat are two different things. Well, we've got some problems in the community right now. You know, we got that, the gas, and we wanted to trade for a ham. Some of the families wanted the fuel. They said, well, I'd like to be able to drive my car so I don't have to walk all the way. I'm like, drive your car? Within a few minutes, your gas is going to be gone. We got to think long term with this stuff. But there's a there's a few families that are stubborn, and you know what? That gas was given to the community. So what we did was, we have approximately 20 families in this area that are part of the community that we thought Mr. Peterson would include if he was alive to give that fuel to. So we had 220 gallons. And we divided it up. Uh, we got about 10, 11 gallons per person or per family. Luckily, we have five families in this this retreat. So we got a good chunk of gas. We got about 50 gallons. We are saving our fuel for the tractor. And we have some fabricating. This takes a little bit of fabricating, welding on some stuff. So we got, we got a little bit of gas now to run the, run the welder. We got some other projects we'd like to work on. Uh, we're thinking about making this neat high-speed gate. Um, 
I'll show you. We started on it. It's we're almost done, but we'll show you that. So we got some problems in the community. Some people are thinking short term, which is fine, because I know I know I actually know one family. Uh, they ran their generator and they're out of fuel already. So for about three days they had they had a nice house. Generator was running. They had power. And I went over there just to visit and see how it was going. And they're in there playing Nintendo and another computer game. And I'm like, why are you wasting precious resources? They're not thinking. I mean, they got like, I, I counted four big screen TVs, those flat ones that went on the wall, four in that house. I'm like, man, if they would have just bought one or two and took that money and invested it in some survival food. A lot of the families are running out of food right now. This is about the 75 day mark. People are running out of food. Um, we have a lot of food here. I, I personally had two years supply plus, and that's not counting what we're producing every day on with livestock, rabbits, chickens. All the other members have at least a year that joined our retreat. That was that was a, a minimum. You better have a year supply of food plus, not counting what you have you're producing. So people are getting hungry now. They're not cooperating. Things are getting a little tense in our community. So what I what I told them was, well. Don't worry about the ham. You guys do what you want to do. There's about four families in the community that are like-minded. So that puts us at nine families out of about 20. We had a meeting the other day, and we formed some alliances. Look at that, it's starting to snow. Christmas Day snowing. This is awesome. Well, we formed some alliances. We got nine families, and we, we formed the alliances. We, we shook on it. We agreed. These are mutual protective packs. If they get attacked, we're going to come to their aid. I don't know. There's some families not cooperating right now, and I don't know if I'd come to their aid. So it's a, it's a happy time. I want to I want to leave it on a happy time right now. I'm gonna get my butter, and my bacon, put all this stuff away, get up to the house, and get some breakfast. I know the wife's gonna be happy to get some good good tasting things. Well, Merry Christmas, and I hope to see you soon. Thank.